Welcome back to the Vox Pathfinder 15R channel and we are in day two of trying to bring this Pathfinder up on a Variac and I had an issue uh, last night. Like The main issue is there was an, there was an asymmetry of heating up between these uh, the large filter cans. The first one's in the stage, which would be, hold on, let me just get something. which are these two. And right now, I on the oscilloscope, I am probing between the ground to the positive rail, and I have that up on the scope. Now what I, just out of curiosity, I did the same thing, and I went from the ground to the negative rail. And this is what the image looks like. First of all, these, this is what, like, uh, Hold a second. I think it's 0.5 milliseconds per division. So from this peak to this peak is 120 hertz, and from the peak to peak is 60. And already I've noticed that there is a difference in amplitude, suggesting that you know, like the diode, one pair or one diode is not pulling its weight versus the other. And then when I switch channels to the, again, the ground to the negative rail, this is what I get. Looks a lot softer. You know, something, that's actually a waveform I prefer. And I measured these diodes, they seemed all right, but the forward voltage was wrong. So, a pair of them maybe like that had like one like a 1.1 volt forward voltage and the others had like two-thirds of a another pair of them had two-thirds of a volt uh, forward voltage and certainly there's you know on this rail it's like more of a soft tooth and this rail it's it's softer and it's actually even which I like which might explain why the two big cans, there was an asymmetry and heating up. And also last night I had to stop this operation because there was, there was an asymmetry in these two cans, but that one on the left went up to 180 degrees. So let me just check that out right now. So the one on the right, 94. Mind you, we're only on 15 volts AC on the uh, Variac and the LED doesn't even start to come on until 40 volts. And so we're gonna monitor this one. So this again, 93 degrees, 97. That's not too bad. Let me just pull it up. Okay, let's look, look at the other channel. The pause, that's the, this is the uh, negative rail, positive rail. It's just a, uh, look at that craziness. And the voltages are set the same on both ones. So this, on this side, it's uh, five millivolts per division. Okay. And equivalently, it's five volts per division on this side. So we go to the negative rail, back to the positive rail. So we get a wicked bad sawtooth and it's a lot bigger. So I think my gut tells me it's these 1N4002s or 1N4002s. You know, I like to be a minimalist and, and not replace just parts willy-nilly. But things are showing me.
that those should be replaced. That's 198, 111. So that climbed up to 180 degrees. You know, that capacitor on the left seemed to test good out of circuit. Uh, although perhaps it can't take the uh, outrageous ripple that these diodes are inflicting. I believe so. So we're going to go and wait for that shipment to come in. Although these new cans can take the big ripple much better than the old ones could. But I think if these diodes were in good working order, probably they could all take it fairly well. So back to, ch back to the, uh, this is a positive rail, back to the negative rail. So it's much more compressed and a lot smoother and just just as a reality check hold a second let's uh, just make sure these one times ten times are all back to normal five millivolts p uh, per division five millivolts per division change channel and we're only talking 20 volts coming out of the variac all right that's been the vox pathfinder 15r channel and i think we're going to wait for a shipment of those diodes and change those suckers out Thanks for tuning in.